So before you install the boot on the shock, it's good to know that um, in this particular case for the Park Avenue, the front shocks are gas shocks. And when you receive them, this rod is going to be completely compressed and it's going to be stuck that way. Um, that's normal. Um, and the way you want to pop this thing out is by taking an Allen key and with your Allen key, you're going to stick it in the end here and you tighten it. You turn it, um, you, you turn it clockwise and just a little bit is going to be enough to pop this thing out. It's going to come out all by itself. So um, to install the boot, the only thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors or a pair of little uh, cutters because you will have to cut off the end of a tie wrap. So let's see what's <clears throat> inside the box. First of all, we have um, well, well, what they call a retainer ring. We have the boot. Have a, a bumper and the tie wrap I was talking about. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is take this retainer ring and you're gonna pop it on the bumper here. So you just gotta kind of force it into place and there you go. Pops there, fits loosely on here. That's normal. The next step is to take the boot. You have this part which is split and the other part which is not. And the part that is not split has a groove. You see right here? And this groove is where is going to pop over that retainer ring. So the split end goes towards the strut like this. You're going to want to remove the top 24 millimeter bolt so that you can fit the bumper over that rod. So push it in as far as it'll go. It's not supposed to go in all the way. It blocks here. And what you're going to do is take your boot and you're going to work it over that retainer ring. There you go. So now the boot can fit loosely. You see here, it's nice and loose and it's holding on the boot with the retainer ring. Now for the final step, you're going to take the split end and fit it over the end of your shock. Make sure that the boot is nice and straight. There's no warps in it or anything. And you're going to take your tie wrap and attach it around the bottom of your boot. Nice and tight. Take your pair of cutters. and cut the end of the tie wrap off. And just take this little corner off, nice and clean. And there you have it. 